Hi there, it's Jade here from FarmLab. I'm going to take you through today's tutorial on how to create some boundaries. We're going to do some surveying and also some stratification. Um, so we're going to start with drawing our own boundary, which we can do here. I'm going to name our paddock for starters. We can select what heading we want to put it under or we can create our own. I'm going to add a new polygon <clears throat> and we're going to, I'm just going to basically run through a very basic area to add. Alright, and we can add any exclusion areas, so I'm going to take out this dam here. Alright, and I'm going to save that. And there is our first drawn boundary. And then we can add, if we wanted to, we can do cadastral boundaries. So this is where we can either put in our lot and DP number here and search it via that or we can show the boundaries via regions so we can have it like this so I'm just going to select this one bring that in you've also got an option here when it comes through if you've got multiple boundaries to merge the boundaries together um, or you can keep it as it is individual so now we've got our two boundaries. So we've got um, the one I've created or we've got cadastral. If you wanted to, you can BYO data so you can import your own shape files. This will need to be zipped or you can uh, import it through a KML file, whichever is one that you've got access to. So now we're going to use a cadastral boundary and we're going to run a survey on this. So what I might do first is I'm going to do some stacked NDVI data. What I'm going to do is firstly it's good to uh, identify that this here shows the percentage of cloud cover over the property on that capture date. So I'm going to just select here we'll go with August every August capture don't have one here so we're going to go that date all right and then I'm going to start that one we're also going to take the same cadastral and we're going to survey it with all the data that we have access to so I'm going to just select all of these Again, I'm going to just select the individual. So this is going to bring the NDVI in individually rather than stacking the data. So I'm just going to go through and select the same months. And then grab the rest of the data we've got access to. All right, and we're going to go and we are going to start surveying that that's going to go away and start processing and then it's going to become available to us. Okay, so now we're ready to have a look at our stack data and also our layers down here. So here we have our NDVI. Just bear in mind also with the NDVI, you want to have a look at the, the point of it. NDVI is the high vegetation period. So if you're looking at a pasture system you want to get the best capture of their highest um, vegetation period. The same with the cropping um, you want to look at that as well. So with the cropping system I'd say it might be one to two months prior to harvest where the crop is at its peak. So in our NDVI capture here we look, we've got our stats so we've got mean, min, um, max and also the standard deviation. Here we have our, our months that we've collected, that we selected also. Uh, so that is there. And then we've got our stacked NDVI. So that's the three months of the three different years that we've got. And it's it all 
put into one end of our imagery there. Then we also have available the elevation. We've got the gammas, so U gamma, this is T C gamma, K gamma, T gamma, T gamma, bulk density, clay, and tree cover, topographical wetness index, uh, soil depth, and also we've got slope there. So all of those that we've got access to now. Now we're going to go in and look at some stratified stratified boundaries. So we can amend this name, so we might call it test one. If you're doing multiple rounds of strata, then you might want to call it something different uh, to, to keep track of it. So I'm going to do a recommendation of at least five strata zones. And we're going to look at elevation and K gamma for this one. That's going to go away in process. Okay, so now we're ready to have a look at this stratification that we've created. So down here, our test one. So we've had a, a look at the elevation in K gamma to, to create this strata. And you can have a look at the histogram there to have a look at how we created it. Um, and go from there. there. We do have other videos that explains how to read and also how we can use these histograms strategically in order to create better strata. But for now we're going to go with this um, and we're going to create some boundaries using these map, these mapped strata. So here it is sitting over here and we are going to generate some random points. So this is exactly that, random. Um, we are going to create five points within each of those boundaries and we're going to run it over a 0 to 30 depth. And that will then instantly go and randomly place five points. So here they are here. Five points in each of those strata locations or zones. And then we can go out. First I have to accept these or reject them. Um, for this I'm just going to reject these for now. Um, and I'm going to show you how you can do strategic sample sampling for agronomic purposes. So that's where we will create a sample point. You do this. You can zoom into the location um, and then place the point there. You can edit the name as well. Uh, you can do editing of the name with the uh, random locations as well, but you cannot change the positions. So. you save it and then you can add depth so 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 if you need it to or 0 to 10 or however you whatever depth you wanted to add um, that is done and you can go on and create multiple points however many you needed to um, across these zones you then can upload our app our app is a farm lab app and all you need to do is sync and log in and you then can view these points on the app and then go ahead and do some sampling but for now that is um, the end of the the segue and we'll see you again next time thank you